Hi and welcome to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, rotate and copy a pattern around in a full circle. So how to turn something like this into something like this. So to create a repeating pattern where you draw a few different shapes or some sort of pattern and then you basically copy it and rotate it around a set number of degrees until you um, get back to the start again. So what I've got here in this drawing here, I've just made a quick little drawing here of different shapes. So I've got a bit of a pattern here. What I can do is um, copy all of this and just rotate it a little bit each time until it's all rotated 360 degrees and we get a full revolution. All right, so what I'll do is I'll use the selection tool. This is the selection tool over here. So I'll use that arrow, that selection tool to highlight and select all of those shapes. Now there's two ways of rotating this. I can click on object, transform, and then rotate. I can make sure that the preview box is checked so I can see what it's going to look like. And then I can drag this line here to set how many degrees I want to rotate this. And I can also type in the box as well. So I want to rotate 20 degrees, okay? Now, if I just wanted to rotate this and just just rotate the shape I could just click on OK but if I want to keep the original and a copy of the rotated version then I can click on copy okay now if you have a look at this it's basically rotating from the center here so this is the center of the pattern or the center of the shape um, so if I do that again I can click on object transform and then transform again and I can also, if you noted the shortcut there, I can press Command D to keep doing it, or Control D if you're using Windows. And I could just keep on repeating that rotation. Now, you might like that kind of pattern, but this is not what I'm going for. What I want to do, and I'm going to undo, so I'll press Command Z, just go back to how it was before. Rather than having this shape overlap, when it rotates. What I want to do is I want to make this here, the bottom, I want to make this the center of the finished pattern. So this time what I'll do is I'll select it all and before I go and click on object, transform and then rotate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this or turn this into a symbol. So I already have here, I'm just going to move that out of the way, I already have the symbols panel open, but if you don't have it open, you can click on window and then click on symbols and you'll see the symbols pattern turn up here. What I want to do is make this into a symbol. So I can click on this button here for a new symbol. I can give it a name and for export type, I need to choose graphic. Okay. Now what you'll notice here is it says registration. There are nine little boxes here and by default, the box in the middle is shaded, it's filled in. If I want to make the bottom of this pattern the center, I can shade the bottom box instead just by clicking inside that little box there. And now that one is filled in. So now when I click on OK, now what will happen when I rotate this is it will rotate from here and that will be the center of the finished pattern. So I can click on object, transform and then rotate I'm going to rotate this 20 degrees and I'm going to copy it. And now you can see rather than overlapping from the middle here, it's rotating from here. So I could repeat that by clicking object, transform, transform again, or just the easy way is to pre press the shortcut key combination, which is command D on Mac or control D on Windows. And there we go. So that's what you can achieve by um, using the rotate tool and by using copy to basically rotate a shape a little bit but also make copies of it um, so you can come up with a really cool pattern. Okay, um, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.